to the West End Video Newsletter. My name is Joe Piccolo, your host for this week's newsletter. Coming back to the West End, housing for former res residents of the old West End, that's our theme for this week's program. Uh, today we have with us Jerry Cicero, representing the Archdiocese of Boston, uh, uh, Director of Community Develop uh, Housing, uh, and representing the old West End, we have uh, former West End residents here, uh, Jimmy Campano, Sam Ballistery, and Donald Dorendo, who recently formed the uh, West End Community Development Corporation. Jerry, we'll start with you uh, today. Uh, can you give us a little history of, uh, a little background on the parcel, the location, and what it's called, and so forth? The uh, piece of land that uh, we hope to build the new housing on is, is presently called uh, Lowell Square. Um, it's a triangular piece of land right at the base of the uh, Charles of the Park complex, which is pretty familiar to most everybody. Um, and it is essentially was a piece of land that was designated to the Charles River Park people to develop in the late uh, 50s. In fact, uh, they never really got around to developing the parcel. And uh, in the 19, early 1950s, 86 or so, the BRA uh, chose to um, send it out for new, new proposals to try to generate other interest in the development of the property. So the Archdiocese, part of the proposal called that for a uh, for-profit and not-for-profit partnership. So the Archdiocese, my office, which is called the planning office of the Archdiocese, developed a proposal with the uh, group called Keen Development out of Cambridge, who is a for-profit developer that we have a lot of respect for, um, to develop a proposal to rehouse or uh, get some housing opportunities finally in that neighborhood where there haven't been any for former West Enders. And uh, so essentially what happened was the Charles River Park people moved forward and some litigation to try to block the BRA from designating the parcel to a new development team. Um, after a number of court cases and appeals, uh, the courts found in favor of the B BRA, and the BRA finally designated in a tentative way this our team uh, to move forward, and uh, we're presently in the process now of trying to uh, think about the kind of housing that we can design and develop in this uh, economic market that we find ourselves in. And so the history is, is uh, being made as we speak. Great. This is a very exciting uh, type of program and uh, parcel that you're going to be developing that's mm -hmm. made national news and national history and uh, it's been vacant for 30 years and uh, a lot of good things have been. A lot of people are going to be real happy to go back there. Uh, are you excited about this? Oh yeah, I, I think it's terrific. I think that the one of the, the main reasons why the Archdiocese specifically was interested was because we want to create a housing opportunity, home ownership opportunity in a neighborhood um, that frankly has very little home ownership. Uh, it's just been recently there's been some condominium units uh, converted at Charles River Park, but prior to that it's all been a, basically a rental community. Mm -hmm. Um, our housing that we've done traditionally has been owned by the families that live there. We don't. We believe that families uh, should own their own housing. It'll be mixed income in that we believe true community is developed amongst all kinds of classes, races, ex ethnic backgrounds, and economic backgrounds. So for us, it's a major opportunity to bring a housing model that we've worked on now for 20 years to the core city and coupled with the fact that it's a, it's a, an ability, gives us the ability to rehouse people who were displaced 30 years ago now, and it's an exciting opportunity, so very pleased to be doing it. Great, and from what I understand, Jerry, uh, former residents of the West End who were, uh, who lost their homes many years ago, they will be given preference to go back there. Uh, how um, the former residents of the West End have a have a displacement priority from the federal <laughs> government, essentially, which allows them uh, to get a priority as, as they as we move forward to uh, place people in the development. Um, essentially, anybody that was uh, living in the West End at the time of the urban renewal in the late 50s 
um, should have that priority. So uh, what will happen is we develop the housing. Uh, we'll be developing the list of people, and there already are a number of people who are interested and have called our office and left their name and number. Um, I know they've contacted you all, and we'll be putting those lists of people together. We'll be advertising through the West End newsletters and other vehicles to let people know of this priority status. Um, and then uh, we'll move from there. Of course, our hope is that we're able to house as many people as possible from the former, from the West End, former people, however you say mm -hmm. that today. And we're looking forward to it, as I said. That's great. And would you like to give your telephone number or uh, anybody that is interested? And, uh, sure. Um, we'll ask again at the end of the show, but we'll do it one time. If anybody is interested in putting their name on the list, um, I should say that it's an information-only list, um, which we will... Uh, it will use it over the next year, year and a half to get information out to people in a, every few months to six months we'll send out an update or we'll do something to keep people aware. It's not necessarily an application list, so people shouldn't feel that they have to call immediately when they see this broadcast. I only say that because mm -hmm. this has happened in the past. So the number at my office is 227-2200 and just uh, ask if they can just leave their name for, for the Lowell Square project and their name will be taken and put onto the uh, information. Okay, Jerry, that sounds real good. Jerry, how does the uh, West End, the old West End Community Development Corporation fit into your plan? Well, essentially, uh, during this process, so there were a number of teams who competed for this development and the old West End uh, Housing Corporation really was born at that time. Um, I've come to meet all of you and people in this uh, session here through that process. Uh, essentially now, the Old West End Housing Corporation, and specifically those individuals who worked hard to keep the spirit of the West End alive, uh, will become part of our development team to the degree that we will be working directly with them to try to get the best design possible, to try to help as many of the people from the Old West End as possible to try to identify contractors and others uh, who have businesses who might be interested in participating in this project at, at various levels. Um, but I see their role and your role really beyond that. Uh, I'd like to think that the housing and the uh, part of our housing will be a West End Visitor Center and some office space for this new emerging uh, uh, West End Corporation. And I'd like to think that through this experience, um, there will be other things that will be identified as uh, potential opportunities for the West End Housing Corporation to further their work. Great. Um, so that's my real hope for this group. Very good. That sounds exciting. Jimmy, uh, let's get to you now. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us, what is the old West End Housing Corporation. <coughs> well, the Old West End uh, Housing Corporation is the corporation that we formed to work in conjunction with the Archdiocese uh, on, I guess, will be a non-profit basis and trying to uh, sort of put in place a little bit of the Old West End and where it was at one time. Of course, that's not possible, but we're going to do as best we can, in other words, to get the flavor of what was the West End back together. Mm -hmm. And we've, we've put together this housing corporation and we've reached out through the newsletter, the, the printed newsletter, and now on the TV show to get whoever is interested to come in and, you know, maybe we can fill this place up and have a little piece of the West End back again. Like I said, the people are older. It'll never be the same, and you know, uh, but it, it, it might work. And maybe we can get a little, recapture a little bit of the magic that was there at one time. I think you can. I, I, I envision that and I see that coming. Do you, would you like to give your number also in case people would like to contact you? Well, the newsletter's number is 628-2479, and we also have a tag at the end of the show. So anybody that's watching at the end uh, can get more information by calling us. And we'll, be, we'll take the name and pass it on or do whatever that uh, needs to be done. Great. So I, I envision it as a, as, a, as a great opportunity for former West Enders who had most of the opportunities taken away from them at that time in 1958. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is... This will not uh, uh, say bring relief to what would happen, but it, you know, in a way, it'll, it, it's sort of a left-handed, uh, you know, what's the word I'm searching for? Uh, 
you know, come back. At least it's something we'll, we'll have at least a little peace, you know, letter A. I know what you mean. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long struggle, a long fight. And I think many, many people are really happy to see this come about, uh, really. Oh, sure. The people out there uh, uh, have really been overwhelming. You know, their response has been overwhelming. Uh, there's only one thing I would like to say, okay, and I'd like to take this opportunity to say it, that a lot of people, we were originally with a different uh, development team, okay, and a lot of people sent in on a survey that H and D did, they sent in a response, and they think that that response also transmits and, and transcends over to uh, to this survey, but it doesn't. If they had sent in a survey for H and D, what that was about five years ago, we would like to see them uh, send in another uh, uh, survey report or whatever they want to call it, you know, application or whatever or whatever we're calling it. And have them send it in because the last ones are gone. We don't have them. H and D took it when the, when when everything fell apart. So, if they had sent in a, a, a report with H and D five years ago, we would like to see them do it again because we got a much better response the last time than we did this time. And a lot of people have told me afterwards that uh, they already sent one in five years ago. They didn't think they had to do it again. So if you, anybody that sees this show that did it, we would like to see them do it over again. Perhaps we could clarify this for them in our next publication of the newsletter, and sure. we'll have a, maybe get some of those survey sheet out also, and whatever. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. And you're president of the corporation? I'm president of the Old West End Development Corporation, Housing Development Corporation. Mm -hmm. And Great. we try to get as many West Enders in there as we can. Good. Sal, we come to you. How are you today, Sal? Not bad. Good, good to see you. Have a good day, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Former, former West Enders, you're in contact with many, many former West Enders. Well, what, is, what is the reaction you're getting from people who you are in contact with? <coughs> well, I'm very happy about the uh, movement that they've seen. Uh, actually, in the last year, um, a lot of people really didn't believe that uh, we'd get this far uh, in the development process with the BRA. Um, a lot of people feel uh, a lot better now. We've been with the uh, Archdiocese now for about two years, working along with them. Uh, people ask me, how do you feel about being with the Archdiocese? I feel uh, very comfortable with them, have no problems. <coughs> There's an exchange of ideas. Uh, I think uh, both our goals, or our aims, are heading towards the same place. Jerry's been very helpful in uh, and guiding us along, and, and we've been uh, very fortunate enough to tell him what our needs and wants are. Uh, we're moving along. It's been, a, it's been very slow. As a matter of fact, Jimmy and I were talking about it tonight. It's been very slow, it's been very long, it's been very frustrating, but uh, I see things uh, moving along a little bit faster now. I'm quite happy with what I see. So. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I hope so, Joe, yeah. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you know, do you, uh, know how many uh, people have written in that want to come back approximately? To, to date? To date, yeah. Let's say we have over 300 people. Oh, that's great. Uh, that are looking to come back, but uh, you know, the, the project, uh, Jerry didn't mention or Jimmy didn't mention, the, the project which was supposed to be 200 plus units, um, my, I'm sorry to say that, uh, it's been downscaled a little bit. Downscaled a little bit. Yeah, it's been downscaled a little bit because of the uh, economic trends of the uh, of the state or actually the country. And, um, you know, it's going to be a, a first come, first serve need basis, I, I would say. Uh, there's going to be a selection process uh, for the uh, for more modern income units, as you know, there's going to be uh, market units here also. But actually, this is going to be for people who qualify for, for this help. Qualified, yes. Uh, there's going to be uh, a, a package, I guess, put out by the church and with us regarding the, what they have to qualify in order to get in. But, uh, in order, but people who do want to get into the housing development have to throw up some kind of stipend or some kind of money to show that they're sincere. Mm -hmm. And, um, and that they're willing to, to live and maintain the building accordingly. Um, but these are things down the road. But like I said, we're moving towards that direction. There's more, more input on both sides as far as uh, where we're going. So I, I, I'm quite uh, comfortable where I am right good. now with the whole project. Very good. Sounds good. Victor Zarendo, you're a clerk of this corporation and uh, legal advisor. Uh, yes, tell us what you're doing.
Well, I don't know if I'm, um, I'm acting as a legal advisor as much as I'm acting just like Jimmy standing and yourself. And uh, I'm a former West Ender. I'm a lawyer, but I happen to be very interested in the, the success of the project. Um, the what what is said so far about securing priority for people to return to the West End is perhaps most important to me. We're at the stage now where we're trying to secure some um, funding with the church for, um, with the archdiocese for uh, ensuring not just that the West Enders who have sought to return get preference, but also to secure that the old West End Housing Corporation secure some kind of future funding, um, stable funding for its future development of other parts of the old West End. We don't know what form that's going to take. Mm -hmm. we, we hope that uh, with the help of the church and the, Arch the Archdiocese planning section, that we'll be able to get some funding that will ensure not only our early success, but our continued ability to develop pieces within the West End thereafter. Uh, it's one thing to put us in place today and have us do what is initially important to all of us, and that is to um, get the priority for the people that were denied that priority so many years ago. But I think it's, it's, it's short-sighted now to say, let's put this piece in place and, and leave it there. I think what's most important to us is that even after this piece gets put in place, the Lowell Square development, that we have in place a funding mechanism that will keep the housing corporation together so that it can continue to search for other pieces of um, property and opportunity within the, the, the old West End. And it's, it's at the stage now where we haven't got any real definite uh, commitment for that kind of funding mechanism from the, from the Archdiocese, but the Archdiocese has expressed a, a real willingness to work with us toward, toward accomplishing that. And, uh, we're hopeful that over the next few months, or perhaps even before the end of uh, this year, that we'll have in place some kind of a commitment to get us some, some immediate funding right now to do those kinds of things that are, uh, are necessary to at least set up the planning for the, um, for the opportunity to get people to come back now and to, um, and to give them the kind of priority that was intended back in the 1950s when they were evicted from the property, but uh, to give them that kind of priority now and to, to ensure that there's some kind of an organization, namely the Old West End Housing Corporation, Jimmy President, Sammy Vice President, yourself Treasurer, that is, um, is able to continue doing those kinds of things through uh, some kind of support. At the present, as we're all aware, the, the Old West End Housing Corporation has no money, has no facilities, has no site, has no staff, um, has no equipment, no office, no, uh, no furniture, no anything. Um, the kind of responsibilities that are befalling Sammy and, and I think primarily Jimmy are, are truly overwhelming. And, and, and not only are they overwhelming in time sense, they're overwhelming in the sense that uh, there's a lot of technicalities and a lot of uh, nuances and subtleties in dealing with a project as large as this that um, Sammy and Jimmy and myself, even as lay people in this area, can't be expected to understand and know. What really has to happen initially is that they be given the kind of resources and the kind of financial assistance that probably is available out there so that, so that the, um, the, the project and the, and the intent of the BRA in awarding the the proposal of the determination to the archdiocese be fulfilled because without that kind of financial resource, without that kind of help, then um, all of the good intentions and all of the good uh, um, desires of uh, ourselves in, in this group and all of the good intentions of the archdiocese uh, are subject to real criticism later down the road. when when things are perceived by others not to have gone the way they could have gone. So that I think it's probably in a whole lot of people's interest, including the developer, the, the, the archdiocese, and ourselves, that we, we set about working as hard as we can, as I think we have, towards securing that kind of funding and, uh, 
and putting us in a position where we can do what I think everybody wants to see us get done. Great. But you, what you, so what you said is this is a good beginning of what could be and what will be. And uh, starting off is that the project might house to a, a little over 200 uh, residents, but even if those residents uh, don't qualify for this particular project, there's hope in the future for more to come. Yeah, not only, you know, I don't know that we get the sense of the Archdiocese has told us that, uh, that the, the 200 units in, in, the, in the building, which is going to be cooperative for the most part, perhaps some rental units as well, but I don't think we've been told that all 200 units are, are earmarked for West Enders. I think we've got a lot of work to do to determine how many of those units, what percentage of those units are going to be quote unquote earmarked for West Enders, what percent are going to be market priced for West Enders and what percent is going to be subsidized for West Enders. So, I mean, I think we look at it, this, this group, I think, looks at it as there are a tremendous number of problems associated with just accomplishing the, the goals of the original 1956 eviction notices, which is really what the BRA is intended partially to, to recompense or address in the Lowell Square project. But beyond that, I think the uh, Old West End Housing Corporation, as it's presently incorporated by you guys, uh, is intended not to stop with just the Lowell Square project. I think its intent and its goals are to uh, do a lot other things in the area of the West End, not just that parcel, but other parcels that may be still available, and, and also do community things. So to community things, not just real estate and re renovation and development and finding housing, which is important to us. But beyond that, it, it's, um, there are community things that we, we want to get done to uh, reintegrate, if that's the right place, sort of the right word for it, to reintegrate, integrate the sense of the old West End in that geographical area. You're not, the only way you, I suppose you can do that is with people. You can't do it with, you can't do it with, with a simple museum. You can't do it with a simple museum. And by no means is the old West End Housing Corporation um, thinking in terms of, putting a museum in this building at Lowell Square and, and, and coming to conclude that that's um, a wonderful uh, recognition or memory of the old West End. It's far, far beyond that. Great. Jerry, how does, uh, tell us a little bit about the plans you have for the Father building or what it encompasses. In terms of the, the size or uh, the development, like are there going to be streets? Uh, uh, named after the old West End streets. So h how do you envision Well, the development the really, the parcel is only about one and a half acres in size. So it, it's a very, it's going to be a you know, relatively dense urban site. And um, I think essentially what you'll see is a building that will try to uh, encompass or hold to the street lines that you see out there now between mm -hmm. Lamazny Way and and uh, the other cross streets, basically across the street from Merrimack Street. And uh, you'll probably see uh, a treatment that will maybe have a, an inner courtyard uh, to be used by the uh, residents of the, of the building. Um, there'll be parking in the building. Uh, at least that's what we're hoping to put in. There'll be uh, neighborhood retail, and we're hoping, and we've had some discussions already about uh, former West Enders with uh, retail s businesses uh, who'd be interested in coming back. Um, and I would love to see uh, that kind of uh, neighborhood flavor and feel along the street level of the property. Um, the building itself, we are doing everything we can to try to create as many a good mix of units as possible. So there'll be ones, twos, threes, and a few four bedroom, in fact, units. Um, we're looking, trying to look carefully at the surveys that uh, have gone out. And what we will uh, do as up to the very latest moment that we can, we'll try to create a development that, that basically uh, shadows the uh, responses that we're getting from the West Enders so that if there's not a a huge demand for the four bedroom units. We'll try to break that down into maybe more two bedrooms if that seems more appropriate. But you can only do that up to a certain stage in the development process. Mm -hmm. 
so we are and will be trying to respond as, as much as possible to the, to the former West Ender need as it emerges. I think part of the difficulty in a development, any development, is that uh, trying to assess the needs that you're and trying to meet those needs is probably the hardest uh, part of everything. And then to design a building around those needs, mm -hmm. the physical, hard reality that you're trying to, you know, put a lot of very good goals and objectives into. Um, in response to Don, I have to say that I, I know that your goals go beyond Lowell Square, and Jimmy and I have have spent many an hour thinking about what the role of the West End Corporation should be as it relates to maybe the new uh, view of Boston as it gets, uh, as the new uh, central artery is, is uh, reformed or the old central artery is taken down. There are a number of development parcels that will become available and, and Jimmy has been part of a group of people who have tried to think through uh, maybe the recapture of some of those for housing mm -hmm. um, uses. So I'm very aware of that. I think that there are a number of parcels uh, as we speak that are available for future housing. And uh, so I think it's an exciting time. Great. Do you have a particular uh, timetable or are you on schedule? Or well, I think we're, we're on schedule as much as possible. I think part of the problem with timetables today and, and just general development is that uh, the economics and the trying to uh, put together the financing for a development of this type with all of these wonderful goals uh, was relatively easy a few years ago. I think with the change in the state economy and the it's no, it's no secret that the housing and subsidies have gone down and virtually non-existent at this moment. So we are looking under every rock and talking to every person we can about trying to find the appropriate levels of subsidy uh, for this property. So that's going to take a little bit more time. But we are uh, very determined to have this start construction in, in the next uh, year. So Great. Sounds like a real exciting uh, happening and uh, sounds like a great partnership and things are really moving forward. And People, people have always have said, and they never thought they would see the day this would happen, but it's, it's happening. And uh, well, it's know, definitely we happening. And I think uh, we uh, are pretty aggressive when it comes to getting a project uh, organized and started. Uh, one example of that is a development that we did in uh, Situate, Massachusetts, which took us ten years and twice to the Supreme Court to say, you know, this housing should be built. And I think it's absolutely fair to say that that's our attitude now, and this housing should be built. So we're going to do everything we can and put whatever resources are necessary uh, to get that achieved. Wonderful. Uh, this is a big day for me, too, also, because I am part of this, uh, this, this development corporation, and I'm a former resident. And, see, I'm really happy to be here today, and I. Thank you all for participating. Uh, before, Jerry. before we go, Joe, could yes. I mention one thing? I would sure. like to mention that new Chardon Street parcel, too. That's also uh, something that we may go into. They were supposed to put housing there, but Governor Weld squashed it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and <laughs> we would like to see that come back online. There was supposed to be housing there for West Enders, mm -hmm. and we would like to see that come back online. But I guess the Weld administration is talking about selling the property rather than developing it. And uh, we'll I guess be in touch with him to go over this. and. I'd like to also mention that the mayor of the city of Boston, Mayor Flynn, has been a great help to us. Sure. He's been backing us all the way, and uh, we're thankful to him, too. Uh, again, as I say, I've enjoyed having you all today and uh, doing good work here, and hope to see you at the next West End video newsletter. <laughs> Photograph. Photograph.